All right, guys, we've been teasing it all week, but we've got a big announcement in this episode. We have got two brand new projects, and for Ireland, they are two firsts. Now, they are not our cars, but we are going to be following them, but they are belonging to David and Darren Coleman. Now, if you remember the Colemans from many different builds we've looked at, you can see this car over here is Darren's son Craig's. This is a video that did 1.1 million views on our channel. As you can see, it's uh, frosty at the moment. And they are the guys behind Triple Eight competitions. So as you can see, all of these nice cars behind me. But they are building two cars that are very, very special. And we're gonna be following the builds. And Ryan, our fabricator, is involved in both. So the cars they're building might not seem that special at first glance, but the plans are very special. So let's go into the boys, see what they're gonna be up to over the next few months. All right, so we have got and bear with me here as I try and close the door without looking at it. So what we have here is a 911, 996. Darren, you're gonna have to introduce this set, this crazy idea to us. You're the man behind AAA competitions. You've decided for your own personal car. Now, before we get into this, just so we can trust this man and what he says, I'm gonna show his E92 here. I'm gonna show his Toyota Supra here. So you're kind of getting an idea. Hold on, me beetle. <laughs> Forget the beetle. <laughs> so what you're getting is an idea of the level that Darren goes to with cars. So, you know, we're gonna have to all use our imagination here for a little while. So talk to me about why a 996, why a Porsche, and what are you doing? Yeah, um, that's a good question, right? So I wanted to build something different. I want to build something that I can bring to the shows and just be like, look at, like, because I look, because yeah. like, suppose I get off of people standing around with cars. And, getting a picture taken on it, so but I never thought of building one, okay? The lads just look at showing pictures down one day and she says, you know what, this is, I'm, I'm getting, we have to do it. The old new kit, this is from a Japanese company, it's sort of like a slant nose kit. You'll we'll show, show some footage of Sultan's one, which we actually saw in the flesh. Before. It's just unbelievable looking, like it's yeah. the nicest, I nearly go as far as to say it's the nicest body kit I've ever seen because it transforms the car that much. Yeah. It's not just a set of arches and you know a split or a lip. The whole front end has changed. It looks totally different. Even the lights are gone off the car, everything. So it's pretty crazy. And then you're obviously you're gonna put Workmeister M1s on it and the air suspension. Yeah. And we're not just gonna leave it there on the outside, we're gonna do some crazy stuff on the inside too. Yeah, we're going roll cages, seats, change interior, custom exhaust. Look at, we had a bit of a budget at the start. If you forget about that budget, <laughs> but it's um, driving the kit, like the price of the kit's like, when I heard the, what the price was, I was like, Jesus, are we gonna go down this road? Maybe we think of a different car, but whatever it is. Set, but, on, let's tell, what's, what was the price of the body kit delivered to Ireland? Just, we, we, we have to be honest with people. We won't say everything else, we won't say how much the car costs, but how much is the kit? Just to give people an idea of how dramatic it is a decision to put mm. a kit like that. It's the guts of nineteen or twenty thousand dollars. Mental, you know. Mental. Yeah. Like, like. Yeah, we, but we did. Just in case my missus is watching this, we did get a good discount. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. It would want to be ninety percent off for the missus not to be annoyed. That kind of money. But that's fine. And I absolutely love that this car is in beige. I think that's the best thing I've ever seen. Like a champagne gold. Yeah, like yeah. the the most old man car. Yeah. The color you'd ever pick from the factory. So the idea is obviously to strip it down, uh, and then it's Ryan Morton who was uh, looking forward to this one. He said he's looking forward to the cage, not so much the exhaust. Yeah. And uh, he's gonna be basically doing all the fabrication on this car in a Drift Games HQ, so that's pretty cool. We get to keep up with it there. Then it comes back, paint, wheels, airlift, all the interior, all that jazz. So there's a lot going on with this car over the next few weeks. And it's not exactly, like, this is not like a four year project. This is, this is gonna move fast. Oh yeah, let's see the lads, I've no patience. So even when Rick was organizing to order the kit, and Rick says, well, he's six to eight weeks, and I'm like, six to eight weeks? I says, oh, God, I can't wait that long. <laughs> you know, like, but here I am, about three to four weeks into the kit being ordered, so we're hoping. You're not too bad. So we're going to introduce to the rest of the boys as well, because they're going to be doing a lot of work on yeah. this car. So this is Rick, and Rick, Rick is a master painter. We should have some footage of cars that Rick has painted in the past. He's painted my 350Z. Basically, a mad selection. Pretty much all the cars that have kind of been mad show cars over the years. 
and you've painted some of them as well. And this is Dave. We're going to talk about Dave, which is he's building the second project. It's Dave owned the R32 Skyline that we had on the channel not so long ago. I'm going to put a clip in here of Josh screaming. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Craig, this is uh, Darren's son who owns the E36 that we saw outside. So yeah. this is a this is a mech, this is probably like the most amount of show cars coming out of one place I'd say in Ireland at this stage. <laughs> yeah. We definitely can't keep up anyway, that's for sure. We'll reveal colours and all that stuff down the line, we'll reveal what you know, all the, everything that's going on in it. But for the moment I'm going to actually take a step out of here and show you the other car these guys are building, which is Dave's car. This is day one of this build, as you can see this started this morning as an NCT'd perfect car. Rick then has destroyed it straight away and took everything off it. Yeah, so we'll let them crack on with this and we'll go look at the other car that we're going to be covering over the next few weeks. Right Dave, so you had a crazy you know, twin cam at one point, which was pretty crazy with a V8. Then you had the S15 with the 2J, yeah, that green one. Then you had the R32. And the M3, supercharged M3. Which I owned for a brief period of time as well. So you're going back a little bit here. You're going to build an S15. Yeah, an S15 with a bit of a difference now. So yeah. I'm gonna, we're going to go in and look at the car. So there's another S15 here. The reason this is here is basically you need to put two cars into one here kind of thing. Yeah. So this is like a donor car. This is not the car being built, but this is another S15. But this is the car that is going to be built. And you're, it's just starting from scratch, Dave, pretty much. <laughs> Bear <laughs> shell. Starting off with, well, what looks to me like a bear shell. So you're not, this is not going to be a, put a body kit on it, put a set of wheels and no. just paint it up. So while the Porsche has a dramatic change of look, this is probably a bit more under the skin, this one. Yeah, this is, a, this is going to be literally from the very nothing of a shell to back to a brand new S15. It's like even down to underneath, I have the whole underneath all stripped down, going to be painted all there. Um, obviously the Origin Labo kit, the, actually going with a Honda engine in a K24 turbo. Which so is this, this is going to be Ireland's first K24 turbo S15. Road car, yeah, it's not much what I have to they, already, they, but they built one that was for the track, yeah. but for a road car I haven't seen a Honda engine in it. Now this is something that's getting popular in the States, if yeah. you guys are watching in from the States I'm sure this is this is something you guys are getting into now. We know Hurt from Hoonigan put, a, put one in his uh, 180SX, so why go with the Honda K-Series engine over the SR20? Uh, well SR20s, I never liked them. The, all this, my S15 I'll have before, I, I got rid of all that, put the 2J in it. I could have went 2J, could have went RB26, but they're being done a lot, so I says, like, why not do something different? If I'm, if I'm going to this extreme, why not have a, a mental Honda engine, like, you know? So it's a K24. K24, so that's, yeah. That, that's a Honda Accord engine. Uh, yeah, it's like best Honda Accord, yeah. So this is going to be with a turbo, so what sort of power are we expecting out of it? Everything I've bought for the car so far is to have it run the minimum of 600 horsepower, so. So 600 horsepower of a 2.4 turbo yeah. Honda engine. <laughs> In Just a white, white. And, and, and the car that's going essentially back to a bare shell, Yeah, everything done and this is essentially going to be like a brand new 2021 S15, that's Pretty the idea, yeah. with a Honda engine. If it's finished in 2021 that is. Yeah, well we're hoping for the sake of the series that it will be. So this, I love, what I love about this is we've got two ends of the yard, yeah. two completely different builds. <laughs> so the Porsche is like one end of the extreme, more of European styled car. This, you always like to have something with a bit of go. Yeah. That's your yeah. thing. So even though your cars have looked really good in the past, they've always sounded and gone as fast as they've looked. They have to go fast. That's, that's the most important thing. Where's the challenge on this? Where do you think the biggest challenge is? Obviously putting the engine in is a big challenge because it's a different car, different engine mounts, all that, that stuff. Yeah. But how much body work and prep is quite a bit, I would imagine. I'm still seeing sound deadening in there, so I'm going, the misery is yet to come. Well, the likes of the sound deadening out is going to stay in, because at the end of the day, I am going to drive it every day. Actually, so. you know what? That's the first thing that I just made a mistake on. You're not building a drift car. No. This so for with us, it's like everything gets stripped down, you yeah. cut everything. But because you're making a road car, you actually have to keep everything neat and tidy. Yeah, it's not that I have to, but just after having cars before, I like to get into a car and just not even hear a rattle in it, so that's... I'll be building this to literally drive it every day, like you know, so kind of 
I suppose as practical as a 600 horsepower S15 goes, it should be. As, as, yeah, <laughs> you know. practical is probably the wrong word. But, um, so we went with a wide arch origin Labo kit on the car all around. Yeah. Um, any other, we're not going to reveal the colour yet because we want to leave that as a surprise. Yeah. But I think this is, I mean S15s are getting rare now. Yes. Probably about five years ago, you were like, oh S15s are everywhere, it's no issue. And yeah. we've seen it over the last year or so that things have just gone really scarce. Whoever has a nice one keeps it. And anything that goes up for sale can be a bit rough around the edges. Yeah. So what did this car start as? Where did you get it? What did it look like? How far along are we here to give people a reference? Um, well, I bought it. It's actually a, it's a fresh enough import as well. So it came in as... I bought it fairly bare anyway. That's why I had to buy the two of them to kind of piece them together. But um, the reason I bought this one was because underneath it is spotless. like brand new, you know. So I want to start off with a good base for a car. To find one that's a clean shell is difficult. Yeah, definitely. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. I mean, for me... The Honda engine for me is the bit that I'm like, I mean, we've seen some really nice S15s over the years and I'm sure you're going to make this look like one of the best in the country, but the Honda engine for me is kind of the interesting part. Yeah. Are you going to run, you're going to run custom ECUs, all that kind of stuff in it? Yeah, Link ECU, I'll go, I had the Link dash and all the digital dash and the R32, so I'll go with all that again. Um, there's like so all the custom looms and you can buy, like, basically to get the engine running in the car, it's, it's, it's pretty much plug and play, like, you know, so that's, it's... I can do most of the work myself on it, rather than having to give it to someone to do everything. So, again, I suppose I'm saving money, so that money I can spend elsewhere now. So, yeah. And so, what's the what's the time frame on the car? Are we? Are we I know that's the horrible question, but what's I, in your head? I have in my head that it's going to be on the road for the start of April. So that's start of April. Yeah, start of April. Yeah. It doesn't look like you now, obviously. But so that's like that's like three months. Uh, Two months. Two and a half months? Yeah, that's that's the plan anyway. I, I work better under deadlines anyway, you know, so. But now this, it's not as simple as just like ribbing the kit on all and going molding all the kit in and all to have it like nearly show car. Yeah, like. and I think that was the only thing that's difficult on this compared to our drift cars is drift cars are a bit bolt on. Yeah. You're not going to spend ages making everything look great because you know it's going to get wrecked anyway. So this is the problem with these cars. They're, there has a bit of perfection in it. Like you have to kind of go into that level of detail or you can see it very clearly on a show. So yeah. both of you are building two cars, two completely different builds, both with the same deadline by the sounds of it. Yeah. And then obviously you guys are going to decide uh, which is the better one at the end. I mean, I know everyone's going to say the S15, but I'm telling you, if you haven't seen that old new kit on the Porsche, it is pretty spectacular. Do you know what? I think for me, I couldn't decide which I, if I was to do one myself, I couldn't decide because I think the Honda engine in the S15 and S15s are just getting that little bit more special now as time goes on. And they start as a very nice car to yeah. begin with and you're improving it. Whereas the Porsche starts and not a very nice car yeah. to begin with and then dramatically changes so i'm really excited to see how the boys get on let's get some work done today and let's catch in at the end of the day and see where we're at with day one of this i suppose brother build off kind of thing i suppose <laughs> is it what we'll call it yeah this is going to be an interesting couple of months to see how these projects come along so yeah let's get to work hold that thought we love our drift cars here at Drift Games, but we don't drive drift cars on the road, we drive sensible cars. And if we're in the market for a used car, we come here to Moorfield Motors. These guys have an amazing selection of everything from luxury cars, to first time buyers, to commercials. Which means they've always got something for me, or for Mike. Jeez, that's a lovely van. So if you're in the market for an amazing used car, check out their full stock list online at moorfieldmotors.ie. And if they don't have it in stock, they can source it for you. Like, Jesus, look at the interior now. I don't know about the colour of the interior. Do you know what? It could work. It's just the f***ing champagne gold that's throwing me off everything, yeah. so. Uh, come here, I put a picture up of it the other day. We're getting loads of the lads are there saying, um, um, oh, cracking colour. And, and I came back that evening and I read this but we just keep it that colour. <laughs> yeah, I nearly got slapped with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would slap it. It's too pretty. It's too pretty of colour.
All right, so you guys have been introduced to the projects. We're gonna be catching up with them over the next few weeks. These are gonna be done, finished cars in the next two and a half months, so a lot to come. But we're gonna go into the other shed. If you guys haven't watched some of our previous videos, there's some cool stuff in here you really wanna see. It's locked. Am I an idiot? It's childproof. Yeah. Wow. Some job, isn't it? That is some handle. Got one. Got me anyway. <laughs> HQ for AAA competitions and some of these cars are being given away, some of them aren't. This is Darren who's building the Porsche's uh, E93 with the convertible roof, it's an E93, right? Amazing, as you can see, finish on it. His other car is this, which is of course all of our dream car, right? Which is the Toyota Supra, uh, twin turbo, 600 horsepower, the job. And this is, they want me to drive this. I don't know if you guys, in the next episode, do you think I should drive this? They're, they're, I don't know why they want me to drive it. I don't know what the joke is, but they want me to go for a spin in this car on the, on the next episode that we catch up with the guys. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Should I go for a, a daily spin in the old Beetle with the air suspension? I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, and then this is their sort of area for showing off what's the next draw. So by the time this video goes out, this car will have a new owner. Uh, someone will have got, what, 20 euro, 25 euro, and take this drift car home. This is our good friend Andy Earl's old drift car. Because Hopefully it'll be me. I bought a few days. Did you buy a ticket, oh, Blaine? Yeah, of course I have. Jesus, be a lot of car for you now, Blaine. So you guys can see, beautiful car. This was Tomas Falvey's car, good friend of ours, and then Andy Earl's car. And Andy has built a new S15, which we showed you on one of our previous episodes at the Drift Games Drive. So this is now gonna have a brand new home. These guys give away, as you can see, lots of different tool packages, like this Milwaukee stuff, all this kind of stuff. So get on the Triple Eight competitions. The guys are not only behind these two amazing builds, but they wanna give away cool cars to you guys for little or nothing. So make sure you check out the website. So this is our introduction episode to our brand new, I suppose, extended projects. We're still doing Game Changers. We're still making the Corvette and the MX-5. We might have some new cars coming uh, to the channel on my side as well. And now we have got a Porsche and an S15. So lots going on in Drift Games over the next two months. So hopefully, if you're bored during all these lockdowns and stuff, you can join us, subscribe, comment. Let us know in the comments the big question. Do you want to see the Porsche done or do you want to see the S15 done? Let us know in the comments. Guys, hope you enjoyed the vlog. We'll see you on the next episode where we catch up with the boys. Thanks for watching.